Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and today I'm joined by former British champion and current IBO international featherweight champion. How are you doing kid? How are you? Looking well, yeah, nice to see good. you. Yeah, good weekend. Yeah, I'll go paltering, yeah. Uh, how long have we got to go now Josh? Five week Friday. You know, sit there. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even do that calendar. Right, it's all you do uh, is a bolt, really. uh, How's your training going, Josh? Yeah, all good. Uh, we've, uh, we're eating everything we want to do at this yeah. time, so. I know uh, we can't speak about opponent, but I know there's a couple uh, of names there. He's gonna, gonna have to pay for them, innit? Dennis? Yeah. Were you shocked? <laughs> uh, no, to be honest, I know what Dennis is about. He's, um, you know, it, Best more, apart from top two, nobody comes close to him. No, yeah, 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 you and mean they, after Warren and... Yeah, 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 and they only do that because they've, platform. they've got a massive platform, you know, Dennis, you know, he, he does it on his on his channel, on yeah. free sport, but, um, you know, it, it's brilliant what he's done for the career. I should have worked with him years ago, years ago pal, but... Circumstances. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're here now, you know, and yeah. um, I've been working with Dennis. So you finished now? Yeah, yeah, and it, even when I finish, I'm, you know. Him and your dad are sound, aren't they? Yeah, like, yeah. I've got a, you know, I've got yeah, a gym, a gym full of kids, pal. I've been mean, boxing for the rest of my life. A few of them are like filtering, a few aren't, there's going to be some going pro soon, isn't there, Yeah, Josh? yeah. So I'm, you're setting your store up for the rest of your career, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a lot of good kids coming, uh, 16, 17, coming up to that age, so. You know, obviously they'll want to go pro one day, and you know, it's just a conveyor belt, pal. That's what that's what happens. That, that's how it, that's how it goes. Yeah. So, so at this moment in time, is this happiest you've ever been since you started? Yeah, I, I, I'm happy myself. You know, I've uh, you know I've I've got a lot on. I'm busy. I work yeah. in schools. I run gym. But um, my passion's still still training hard, and uh, you know. I know for a fact I've, I've got some really big nights in front of me. That, that, yeah, that's why I'm carrying on. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not for no other reason. It's uh, you know if I didn't have desire to train hard and and, and, and proceed, then I won't carry on. But I, my last performance, what best of my career? Yeah, you know 28 I mean? and one South. You know, 28 and one. You know, it were from from biddable opponent. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, it were, that that were that were really one of the best times of my career. And, uh, so that up there would be winning British. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, what circumstances I got wrote off in third weight to be a three weight champion um, in featherweight, you know. People saying you were a bantamman. Yeah, that. yeah, it was And uh, well, when you were a super bantam, they said you were a bantam. Yeah. And then you go in and doing this at featherweight. Exactly, I mean, I, I think I, in my age, I'm 31. Uh, you know, there's no hiding, you know. But I, when I got into it, fine. There's no when when it gets into trenches in a battle like that. There's no uh, no hiding problem. They're not understanding. Yeah, and obviously in the, the strength and conditioning, you're lifting more for long more reps and heavier weight. You're running further and faster times. Is this cause of the weight, or or is it just are you just coming into your own now? Um. I, I've always feel that I, I know my performances uh, at featherweight would be good because I know I performed in gym. It's just it's just getting back up, you know, when you're boxing to translate it back into the ring, you know. Um, but I, I'm performing better now in gym than, than I ever have done. So yeah. if not better, if not better, it sounds crazy. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. Me and my dad go about his business our way, you know, we're old school. You yeah. Know, they know where. Uh, no. Hairs and grace. No. no. There's no big entourage, it's, you know. My dad is John Joe does my pad, you yeah. know. The, uh, we've got a good team, good, yeah. good honest team. Yeah, it's it's uh your dad seems happy, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah. He's uh, obviously he's happy I've, I've just done a great performance, so you know, that, that's what that's what my dad's mm. If uh this this kid the one of these next two guys signed uh, and the belt is going to be fought. If you win that, it's looking like you're going to fight for a world title this year, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, obviously. Or a massive fight that an interim or yeah, something like yeah. that. There's, and considering it'll all have been done in 355 days, won't it? Yeah. From the Brad Foster fight. Yeah. 
but um, so this it's a fantastic turn. Oh, but we're not going to jump. Uh, no, 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 we are. I'm going to keep performing and keep winning. Oh, yeah. I, I've been here many times in your career. I, I know um, you, you can be best things in life for one minute. Then you know. Yeah. But I, I've, I've done it throughout my career, and I, I've, this is what I've done. And I know what it takes. It's a, to box for a world title, that's all it went left to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know and mean? obviously you got robbed for European, didn't yeah, you? So yeah. you've been and do you know what? That that belt's more political than any other belt they boxed well, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, that, don't Yeah, you? definitely. I mean that You're up against it, I mean to be fair, your team you were up against it going there, but you rolled dice, didn't you? So yeah, you got to give credit to your team, you, 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 you gotta do, I mean you, I always say you live by your, your, your decisions at the end of the day. My decision was to go there and box him in. And that way, pal, you know, I, I wouldn't have changed it. Well, if it had been in England with Dennis, do you think you'd have got a decision? Oh, easily. Uh, well, yeah. I nearly got it in France, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows I won that fight. Uh, that kid knows I won that fight, but, you know, it's, it's, everything happens for a reason. And, uh, and now you're in this position now. Yeah. And obviously, yes. Your stock's gone through a roof for your appearance and stuff yeah. like that. Isn't it amazing how this is what, what I was saying, Michael? You know, about boxing, it can kids can be one minute, they're just going to the gym, living in a council house, but the next, it's thrust upon them, isn't it? And you're in a fortunate position now, and I'm really, really proud for you. Yeah. And you're happier to be around, Josh, because when I first met you, when you used to be with Stephanie, you are. An hard working kid, but you always a bit. You look like it were. I don't know, it would end up world every day. But that's because of the weight, isn't it? It's not because of everything else, it's the weight, isn't it? I, th I think when I was doing. Uh, Grumpy. <laughs> I don't know, my wife would probably say that. Yeah. Uh, I think when I was doing uh, 8 stone 6, you know, I'm a, I'm a big kid for a featherweight. So yeah, you're 5'7, aren't you? Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't get me wrong, I mean, featherweight's obviously a lot easier. It's 8 pound more. more uh, more on me, but yeah, we were at work, but you know, you, you did it and I, and I still performed, you know, I, like you said, I could have been European champion, so there wasn't much going wrong there, but mm. uh, yeah. the performance will come back this way. Yeah. Uh, sparring, Josh, were you sparring or did you dad want to, uh, are we going to say, or? No, I'm obviously I'll wait for my opponent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now it's been, uh, you know, well, it's going to be. An, do we know if it's orthodox or southpaw? We don't know, do no, we? No, not yet, no. So, well. so, but you're not bothered about the southpaws because you deal with them, well, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the spark, your training, is it? Is it going all right? Have you changed anything? Tweaked anything? No, I mean, we've just got to keep performing like we did last time. So, you, why would you change anything when you come off your yeah. best performance? You can't uh, try, can't try and make it too scientific. We never have. You know, yeah. we, we work hard. I'm, wor I'm an hard working kid, that, that, yeah. that's what it is. And you still do the same run? Yeah. On yeah. the Darfield and that, six no, miles no, or? No, I do my run at Brampton. That. Brampton, yeah, that's yeah. it, so six yeah. miles? Yeah, yeah. That's I what Frock used to do, six yeah. miles. Yeah, yeah, do you, have, do you record your time? Yeah, yeah I record it all. Does it? Well, we've been doing it 30, 20 years. 30, 30, yeah. 30, well, since I've been a pit, obviously. We did it as an amateur, but uh, he's still got things from following your car. Yeah, like like uh, what Pe Pe what's the guy called? Uh, Mickey off Rocky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always been me and my dad. I mean, uh, people get it's a great on about, story, isn't it? Yeah, John? people get on about loyalty or uh, what. Me and my dad's been through it all. Mm. Uh, from my first fight, at 11 year old, national champion, boxer in England, three weight champion, and professional, British right. champion. IBO international champion, English champion, yeah, Central exactly. champion, two time British master champion, six time champion. Um, I've had defeats a lot way there when everybody says, oh, you should change your training, oh, your dad's too poor, you know what I mean? In fact, me winning them belts behind my dad wouldn't have meant nothing to me, so yeah. we had to do it together, and we've yeah. done it together, that's, that's what we've done, and um, mm. I owe everything in my boxing career to me dad. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's loyalty because, you know, Loyalty and levels. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what we do. I, I keep buying it as a senior. So, forward a year from now, where would you like to be, Josh? World champion. You know or, I mean? or waiting oh. for years, waiting for a slot to, to fight for to a, for a bit, yeah. waiting to get a, a shot for a title. Yeah, definitely. Like. I mean, yeah. Which because champion do you fancy out of them all? Just keep winning. Well, they're all good fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, who, who are the champions at Featherweight? We've got Warrington. 
The other ones. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, the kid will be quick one. Is he one of them? Well, there's, uh, there's Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez, that's he, he, he's moved up to Super Bowl, right? Yeah, yeah. Kel Stevenson. Yeah. He, I think he's boxing more than Jenny. Yeah, do you think he's best out at Lotting? Yeah. Or Warrington? Well, I don't know. They're both undefeated, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, and we keep. I mean, obviously, he beat Warrington, beat uh, Carl Frampton, and he beat Kid Gallard. Kid Gallard, yeah. So, and you know, he's on form, isn't he? You know, I mean, the Stevenson, I've not seen too much in, but the reckon he's really good, so. Uh, yeah, Olympics over so Magnus. Yeah, yeah, they don't give them away like that, so. Would you go to America mm. to fight Stevenson on a Bob Arum show? Yeah, of course I would. Right, I want everybody to remember that Josh has said. He'll fight Shaka Stevenson on a Bob Arum show. We'll leave that one at that age off. But you would fight him, wouldn't you? Russ, I'll fight absolutely any man. And I'll not be able to go because I can't get a read of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be watching on, on Facebook. Well, all these people be oh, I'll fight any man. Yeah. Well, it's going great for you, Josh, isn't it? You look happy. You've got a tan. Where have you been? Yeah, I went to turn in for Christmas. So. And you good? Yeah, it was good, yeah. It was different being here for Christmas time. Where did Joe yeah. Gwynn go? Yeah, uh, he went to Wales. I, I so you all went to Tenerife for some yeah. sun? Yeah. And your Gwynn's going around <laughs> Wales, <laughs> shivering his nose uh, off. Yeah. Who did he go there with? Yeah, his family. His family. Yeah, his I bet they were right happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were they phoning yeah. the granddad? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he went out walking and he did all that kind of stuff. Into all that? Yeah, he loved it, yeah. Oh, Gwynn's a bit deep, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he goes out walking. Yeah, but other than that, everything's alright. He's happy with Jim at Bomber. He's yeah, got more in than ever, haven't you now? Yeah, it's really busy. Have you seen half off? Yeah, it's really busy, pal. Really it's busy. unbelievable. I'm, it only used to be about eight, didn't yeah. it, at one point? Can't, can't, honestly, I probably can't take any more kids. Yeah. We're, we're, we're really, really busy. Yeah. Um, set of kids do up on a weekend as well from babies all the way up. We're yeah. really busy, pal. Yeah, like really. a mini hitters. Yeah, thing. yeah, really big. Uh, mini outlaws, they really good. Yeah, yeah, mini outlaws. <laughs> Minis always called mini outlaws. <laughs> yeah. oh, I thought they were all called mini hitter group. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Mini outlaws, is that what they are? Yeah, mini outlaws. Well done. Yeah. Josh Whaley out well, well listen, all the best. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I'm um, sorry to hear he does not very well. Yeah. Give my yeah. best. Yeah. Uh, well, you're gonna help me to do my uh, through Michael now, yeah? Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging and Innovation Alloys. Thanks for backing the channel. Hope you well AJ and Kev. So peace out.